So you just went ahead and recorded your song inside a cakewalk. Now you're ready to send that session off to get mixed. Keep on watching this video. Copy all audio with project is checked. That way all the audio files go with the project file at the same time. What's up everybody? Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, so what it is, guys, Chris Lee back with another video. Check this out. What I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you guys how to go ahead and send your cakewalk sessions, maybe to be mixed and mastered by somebody, or maybe you want somebody to work inside of them and do something for you or just whatever the case may be. I'm going to show you guys how to properly send your cakewalk sessions. All right, so guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that right now. Let's go ahead and jump into it, okay? You got everything set up, ready to go. Uh, you're ready to send this off to get mixed and mastered by somebody or possibly let somebody work in it. It doesn't matter. I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and get this thing ready to go so you can ship it off. Okay. So first thing you want to do is hit control A and that's pretty much going to highlight everything, select everything. Okay. From start to finish, the start of the beginning of the track to the end of the track with all the vocals in it. Okay. So then what you want to do in a process is you just want to go ahead and go to file save copy as and once you go ahead and create file save copy as you just want to go to your desktop and once you go to your desktop you want to make sure that you either create a new folder that says like cakewalk sessions or whatever the case may be or just strictly save it to your desktop okay i already created a folder so i'm just going to go ahead and click this and what i want to do is just make sure that i can leave the title change the title it really doesn't matter I'm going to leave it as new song. You want to make sure that the save as type is normal. Keep it as normal. And then down here where it says uh, copy all audio with project, you want to make sure that this is checked. If you don't make sure that this is checked, what's going to happen in the process is that once you try to send the session file, you're only going to send the cakewalk session or the project file. But when somebody try to pull it up on our computer, they're not going to have any audio files. I just had a client do that. Uh, he actually did it twice. So that's why I'm making this video to go ahead and show him how to properly do it. Okay. And, and as, as well as everybody. Okay. So you want to make sure that copy all audio with project is checked. That way all the audio files go with the project file at the same time. Okay. So we're going to do that. And then what you want to do in the process is just hit save. And once you hit save, boom, it's done. You go ahead and go to your desktop. Session cakewalk folder that I created and boom, there it is. New song. And once you open it up, there it is. The project file, which is key. The client kept sending me just a project file. Um, so I was trying to show them how to do it the right way. But when you look in this folder, you should have a folder in there that says audio. Okay. Audio is going to have all the audio files that you had in that session. That way, once I pull it up on my computer or whoever pulls it up on their computer, all those audio files will be in the session. Okay. If you just send me this file right here or anybody this file, then they're going to be missing all the audio files. And it's pretty much going to be blank once we open it up. Okay. So now once you do that, the important part is you want to download something called Renrar uh, Download. You can download it for Windows computers. It's a free download. Make sure that you get it for English or the, or the USA 64-bit. Just type it in. I'll put a link in the description box. But what you want to do is right-click it, and you just want to go to Add to Archive, okay? This is going to make it like a RAR file or a zip file. You can do RAR files or zip files, but this is the way that I recommend Okay, so this is everything is cool. You don't have to touch anything and you just want to go ahead and hit OK. All right. Now, once you do that, depending on what you have on your computer, it should be like a stack of books. Okay, if you it should look like a stack of books like this. If you have something else on your computer that opens up uh, disk images and things like that, then utilize that. But for me, Renoir is going to be the best thing to utilize, but I like to use power ISO for my own reasons. And that has nothing to do with this video. Okay. Okay. So you can go to a free website called we transfer.com. If I can type, right. Okay. And then once you do that, 
you just scroll down here to the bottom and, and it says, I just want to send files. Okay. And then you go ahead and click this plus button here. And when you do that, you navigate to where your, your files are. Okay. So we're going to go to desktop. We're going to go to session cakewalk and boom, here it is. Okay. So you can either do this whole entire folder. You would have to select the entire folder or you could select whatever file you have. Okay. So I'll show you both ways. If we did it this way, boom, you can see that it says RAR, okay? It lets me know that it gives me up to two gigabytes free to be able to send my sessions off. So if your sessions are too big for your email, whatever the case may be, this will be the best way to do it, okay? And then what you do is you just go in and type the email. I'll just type one of my other emails. And it's going to ask you, who is it coming from? And you would type in your email and you just put in there the title of the song and just say, you know, a little message. Hey, the session I did. Boom. Something like that. And you just hit transfer. Okay. It's going to ask you to do a verification code so it can verify who you are. Just go to your email and type in that verification code. So it's letting you know that you're a legit person to be able to send this off and that they know it's really you. Once you do that, it's going to send the session off. Okay. So I'm going to show you that right now. So what I'm going to do is go here real quick and boom, here's my code. So 071 718. Okay. and you hit verify boom and it's going to start transferring once it start transferring it's going to let you know that it sent it off to your client or whatever the case may be the positive that i like about this is it actually lets me know when my clients have downloaded the session so if tr my clients try to lie and say oh i ain't get the session uh, i'll say you know well it's been sitting in here for seven days you have up to seven days to download it you know did you download it or not i'll be able to know it'll let you know hey your client or whoever has downloaded your session which is pretty dope so guys and that's pretty much it guys so guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up leave me some comments let me know what you think do you think that this process will really help you send your sessions off to more clients or you know maybe somebody just to check out your material uh, i think it's very beneficial i use it every single day i love we transfer i love sending my sessions that way that's how you send full sessions so guys that's pretty much it for the video share this video with anybody else who may need to know how to work cakewalk with sending sessions and other than that guys as always stay tuned for the next video uh, how things are turning out I, I knew I should have left you a long time ago oh, 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 oh. And I'm trying to do better